Do you remember that time when Griffith sold his body to that evil old nobleman and offered him a bedside favor in exchange for money to fund his war effort? It's one of the most important moments in the development of Griffith's character, and it even stands on a par with his ultimate betrayal during the Eclipse, where Griffith would sacrifice the lives of everyone who ever served him and offer their bodies to demons in order to ascend to the God Hand and become a ruler of the world. As shocking as the Eclipse truly was, Griffith had also been preparing for it all his life. And indeed, that night when Griffith offered a sexual favor to the old nobleman was arguably the moment when these preparations began. The reason Griffith sold his body is because he bore a guilty conscience, which tortured him with the knowledge of all the lives of all the soldiers that he had sacrificed in war for the sake of his dream of ruling the world. Griffith was haunted by their deaths, and this filled him with an obsessive need to make his dream of sovereignty come true at any cost. For if he failed, then all the many hundreds or thousands who died in his service would have died in vain. And Griffith could not allow that to happen. He needed to become a king, because then their sacrifice would have meaning. And then they would have died for the sake of his glory, like saints who die for God. And so Griffith was prepared to do absolutely anything to secure his dream. He would gladly offer a sexual favor to an evil old noble if it would help him turn his soldiers into saints. For this was how Griffith honored his soldiers. And yet, at the same time, it was also a sinister kind of honor that Griffith supplied. Because he was already thinking of his soldiers not as people, but as sacrifices in his honor. Their lives and deaths had meaning only in relation to him, as cobblestones on which he must step on his journey to kingship. For that's what they had to be in order for Griffith to live with his tortured conscience. He had to tell himself a story about the destiny that he deserved, a destiny as a god king, whose glorious ascension could justify all the death that he had brought into the world. And now that Griffith already walks a path paved by the dead, he can never stop sacrificing ever more lives. He must endlessly stack body after body on the altar of his own divinity. For if he ever stopped, if he ever gave up on his dream, then all their sacrifice would lose its meaning. And Griffith's conscience would not allow that to happen. It required him to honor the dead by killing the living, even to the last man and even to his final friend. And that was why it also comes as no surprise when during the eclipse Griffith offered up the lives of the hawks to the guardians of the God Hand as sacrifices for his ascent to a godhood of his own. For that was the honor that Griffith had always assigned to them. From the very beginning, they were sacrifices for his dream. 